it's going to be a quick instructional video on the installation of the triangle folding wrap. Hey guys, this is going to be a quick instructional video on the installation of the triangle folding wrap. Uh, and this will go for all triangle folder wraps from the Zestava, uh, the Circle 10, KP9, Russian Bulgarian, uh, PSA, and so forth. So um, with your wrap, you'll also receive uh, two blunt tip leather sewing needles, uh, the piece of thread that you'll need to stitch it on, and this will be a spare piece of thread in case something goes wrong the first time uh, during installation. Uh, so to start out, I'll just remove this piece of thread that I'm going to be using. There's going to be more than enough of this thread to uh, to stitch this wrap on. Give you some room for error in case you um, in case the needle slips off the thread. You have to cut it uh, down a little to get the needle back on. Okay, so to tie the needle onto the thread, what I, what you want to do. <clears throat> is uh, put thread through the eye of the needle pull the string through and then at about a quarter of an inch maybe an eighth of an inch take that needle and go through the thread and then pull that thread down pull it over uh, itself there and then just pull it tight and you'll do that on the same, or the other side of the uh, thread with the other needle. So again, we'll go uh, through the eye of the needle. Okay, it's hard to see. I'm going to trim this piece of thread a little to make it easier to get through that needle. I'm going to cut it at an angle like that. If I can see it from here. Okay. And again, pull it all the way through and go through it. Right. End of it here. Let down over that piece of thread and pull it tight. So now you have one piece of thread with a needle on either end. Okay, so next, um, it doesn't technically matter, but I always install it with this uh, the end that has this cut um, on it and always install that towards the receiver and then the flat portion uh, towards the butt of the stock so I'll take this here uh, some some of the leathers are a little stiffer some of the color options are a little, little stiffer um, you can soak it in water uh, if you'd like to um, you can oil it with some ink oil to soften it up um, or you could just do what I do here and uh, kind of just form it some to get it broken in slightly and it'll it'll form as you stitch it as well this will just make it somewhat easier to start out with okay so <clears throat> I'm going to take one end of the thread here and I'm going to go through uh, the, the right side, right outside of the first hole in the wrap. And the needle will go through the triangle stock here. Make it hard. And then I'm going to go through the inside on this first hole to the outside. And then what you want to do is make sure both uh, sides of the thread are equal in length. So that's about equal. Okay. Then what I want to do, <clears throat> maybe easier to show on this side. Usually I'll do it on the right side, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'll take one side of the thread and I'll go through the stalk. And I'm going back through this hole from the outside first to the, towards the inside. Back through that first hole on the right side there. Make sure you do not pierce the thread as you're going through that hole. Alright, so pull that through. I'm 
and check the length of my thread on each side even though I haven't gone through that uh, first hole on the left side again just want to make sure my thread is about even okay so I've taken <clears throat> I've taken that thread I've gone through the stock I've gone through this hole this first hole again from the outside towards the inside and then I'm going to take that thread once more and we'll go through this first hole on the left side from the inside towards the outside. Just trying to see this without piercing the thread. Not hard to see from where I'm at. Okay. So you can see I'm going uh, taking that same piece of thread that I went over with and through that uh, first hole again and I'm going through that first hole on this side <clears throat> Just pull this tie a little check my links here and then you just pull that top okay next step um, yeah I'm checking the links of my thread once I do these this first initial stitch here because <clears throat> as you go further down you won't be able to adjust that so make sure it's all the same length um, this is going to be kind of difficult to see the uh, the other videos like the uh, Sam 7SF uh, wrap installation video. It's all the same stitch. Uh, so if you, if you have trouble seeing this, um, feel free to watch one of the other videos. But um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this uh, thread on the right side here. I'm going to go through the triangle stock. I'm going to go from the inside to the outside through that second hole on the left side. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. On the left side, I'm going to go through the stalk and from the inside to the outside through that second hole on the right side. Pull it tight. Okay. Now, one thing of importance. Is uh, may not be able to see this, but I'll, I'll show you as I go down. Um, you want to keep the thread at, as you stitch. It, if like I have the thread on this right side that's coming over, on top of that thread uh, from the right side to the left side. If you see there, that thread's on top. You want to always keep whichever side is on top. You always want to keep that side on top. So. When I do this second stitch, I want to ensure that I don't do this one first, or if I do, I at least do the second one under this first one. Um, but the easiest way to do this is to just keep going with this right side to the left side. So I'm going to take it through the stalk and through this third hole here, if I can see it. And then you'll see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so that's the that hole. All right, so when I bring this one over, this thread is going to lay over the top of this thread, and I want to keep that pattern all the way down the uh, wrap as I stitch. So I'm taking this side, and I'm going to go through this third hole. If I can see it, and the inside out. <clears throat> okay, and then you want to pull it tight. Best to cross it over to get a good tight pull on it. Um, Coming up down here. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> And I'm going to keep going. So I've got these pulled on the opposite side right now so that I can tighten it better. Um, but that's okay. I, I'm going to keep the same pattern I've got going. Uh, this would otherwise be on the right side. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it through this hole. This fourth hole down. And I broke my thread so I'll show you how to fix that. And then taking this one here. Going through the fourth hole on that side. Cut a little off at an angle. And re-thread the needle. And then I'm going to continue doing this all the way through, and then uh, I will, uh, when I get to the last couple stitches, I'll go over this last stitch here. Okay, so I'm at the uh, last two stitches here. I'm going to continue my pattern. So, again, I'm going from the right side to the left first. And then bringing that thread over that thread from the left side to the right. So now all you need to do is take your thread, make sure you don't pierce through this one. I'm going to go, I'm taking my right side thread here and passing through the triangle stock. I'm moving this thread to the side here so I don't uh, pierce through it. And then I'm going to go through that hole. Make sure you don't tie a knot with that that way. And I'm going to go through uh, the last hole on this side from the inside to the outside, making sure I do not go through that thread. Okay. Pull it tight. And at this point, you could tie it off if you want. I'm going to just make sure I'm straight here. Can bring some of it over. Yeah, I guess I'm going to tie mine off as well. That's a good point here. You could go do the same uh, thing that I had just done. Go through it one more time like that. Just to uh, make sure it's tight when you do tie it. Uh, but mine doesn't look like it's loosening up. So I'm going to go ahead and tie my knot. Yeah. 
and once more. Okay. Oops. Then you just want to cut this thread. You want to leave about an eighth of an inch. And hit it with a lighter. There you have it.